What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Universal Open Rocket League West Regional here in beautiful San Francisco, California. We are about to jump into quarterfinal number two here of our day today. Don't forget, guys, we are going to be sending two teams to the grand finals in Santa Ana, California. There's our teams warming up in the bullpen right now here at the studios. We're about to move into Sloth versus Chickens up next. And like I said, I just... I just can't wait to hear you guys just yell about sloths versus chickens the entire time. That's like, I, I don't have hard hitting analysis on this one. That just sounds awesome. We have a petting zoo for the next I, match. I was thinking about that when we saw the, the shots of them going to break and they're like looking real epic. And I'm like, yeah, but your name's chickens. Like, I, don't, I just I don't know. It just kind of loses its vibe. And I know that's what your team's called. Right. I mean, we can think about sloth here in particular. This is the big team coming up in the next match. Chickens versus sloth. Sloth actually containing Prem and Sad Koala. Prem notably playing for Equinox, an RLCS level team. I think it was season two they played for, subbing in for Chrome. So this guy is a top 3v3 level player mm -hmm. and, and, and kind of on that better than your average bubble player. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right, we talk about enough. that a lot. Bubble players right. being players just outside that pro scene. He's he's kind of broken through and this is probably his first season coming in as a, as a top level player on a top level team. And so we'll be expecting big things from Sloth, ironically. Yeah, okay. You know, or, or chicken, I don't know. Yeah, them, him, Prem and Perch Beast definitely in a good shape right now. All right, well, let's take a look at our two teams here. As you guys can see, Sloth actually the number two team out of the Northwest Qualifier Chickens, the number three team out of the Bay Area Qualifier. So it should be a fairly competitive match between these two players, uh, between these two teams, I should say. And I believe we have Alex standing by with one of our teams right now. Alex. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Sloth. That's the team name. First of all, guys, what is this handle? What is Sloth? Where does that come from? That's all him. He, uh, he was flying in from North Carolina, and uh, we said, do you want to play today? And then uh, he said, yeah, sure, but I feel like a Sloth. So that's how that came up. Hey, that sounds good to me. I like it. Uh, talk to me about your path, guys, coming to today. How's it been going? How are you feeling? You're in San Francisco, ready to compete to go to Santa Ana. How's, how's it going, guys? Uh, it feels pretty great. It's kind of weird, like, flying out to play a video game, but uh, it's definitely exciting. Uh, practiced enough to hopefully be able to make it out all the way to Santa Ana, so looking forward to it. I'm super excited for it. Uh, it's the first time I've ever come to California or anywhere this far, and uh, I'm just pumped to be able to fly out here to play a video game. All right, guys, there's only two spots. What would it mean to you to have one of those spots in Santa Ana? It would definitely mean a lot just because, like, I've been working for this since the game came out pretty much. So uh, it's definitely been a goal. So it would really, really help for added motivation to just keep pushing for it. Uh, it'd be huge just because of how many hours put into the game that it finally shows. Uh, it would definitely be a, a goal and a dream. All right. Well, I'm rooting for you. I'm sure a lot of people out there are rooting for you as well. This is Sloth. Good luck, guys. Back to you, Kevin. All right, now they're not the only team competing in this quarterfinal. Of course, we also have chickens to round out the petting zoo match that we have in our second quarterfinal. Viking, 18 years old, hailing from Lake Forest, California. And of course, one of his uh, neighbors, it looks like, Twice the Tang, also from Lake Forest, California, both 18 years old and looking to hopefully pull a bit of an upset today. Alex is actually standing by with the team right now. All right, I am here with Viking and Twice the Tang. You guys, your team name is Chickens, and we already had a sloth. I'm wondering what's going on. What, what, what's the name? Where does the name come from here? Uh, that, he's going to have to answer that one. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just like chickens. It's a cool animal, and, you know, I like animals, so. Wow. That is, that is, wow, that is awesome. <laughs> Thanks for answering that. Um, guys, it's a big deal right now. San Francisco trying to play into Santa Ana. First of all, how does it feel to be here, ha having played through all the brackets and actually to get to this point? How are you feeling? Uh, it's actually incredible because I'm just a sub for this team. He actually qualified without me, and I literally found out like less than 24 hours ago that I was going to be here, and it was it's like super exciting. It's like out of nowhere, I'm just here in San Francisco playing video games. <laughs> Viking, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good. You know, I had to drive like six hours yesterday, so it kind of sucks, but it's all good. Hey, you guys are heroes, and we're playing Rocket League, so we're having a good yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, so. Santa Ana, there's two spots on the line. What would it mean to you to get one of those spots? Uh, that would be crazy, because like, to be, like, I guess, like one of the top 16 teams like, in the world that qualifies, it, yeah, that would be crazy. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just like a random team that came together to have fun. And so if we made it, it would be uh, pretty awesome. All right, chickens, good luck. Uh, I know you got a lot of people rooting for you, so I'm sure they're showing their love uh, watching from home. Back to you guys, Kevin.
All right. Esports team names. Gotta love them. Uh, Ooh, yeah. They're always the best justification for all of them. <laughs> okay, so our next game is going to start here pretty soon. Um, let's get one quick bold prediction from you guys who you think's moving on. I mean, I think I think Sloth is probably in the better situation here. Just uh, you, you heard that uh, Chicken's roster kind of came together last night because, and they, mainly because they were probably real friends. So also, but Vikings, Vikings, twelve days on a uh, grass boost, as it said in his his bio, that could carry him to victory. Really? Wow. Yeah. It said he has twelve. He says he holds the world record, self proclaimed, self proclaimed world record holder of using 12 days of grass boost. Anyone out there familiar with Espeon has to go ask him for his grass boost impersonation. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, if, if you're new to Rocket League, you can make your boost look whatever you want. So one of them literally just looks like a lawnmower. It sounds going like through, a lawnmower, uh, kind of. Yep. Perch Peach in there, take a shot, puts it through, and that puts Sloth up on the board early here in game one. Yeah, good job here from Prem, pushing the ball forward and taking the boost. We see Viking just not the touch he's looking for. He needs to get underneath the ball to lift it higher and get it out of the danger zone. Unfortunately, he hits it down straight up to the middle where where uh, they were waiting for the goal. I mean, just a little bit of a misplay as far as positioning goes. I think they'll be able to recover. Well, I'm disappointed. Viking is not using grass boost. Is he really not? Come on, man. That was like that was like a thing. No, he's using some other green. Maybe he is. No, I don't think so. Prem going to try and put another one in. What a beautiful double tap. I don't think he expected this one at all, but beautiful. Like, hey, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, this is actually just Oh, he's so using grass boost. Prem. I'm silly. So Viking there again, a mistouch. Prem hitting it off the post, and his car is actually just crossing past the post as the ball bounces right off and goes straight on in. I mean, I don't want to say that was unintentional, unintentional, but I don't know if I'd say beautiful, man. Uh, You're going to have high standards here, Wave Punk. I thought it was pretty cool. I liked it. 2-0 in favor of Sloths with four minutes left in the game. Two goals in the first minute here. Quick work. Getting to pass Viking and twice the Tang. Ball's been spending a lot of time in the orange. I feel like we've been saying that a lot today. Right now, the blue teams have been the favorites. See if the chickens can change that up. Twice the tank picks this one up, launches it back down the field. Perch beats to drop it back down in front. Prem has to play it over to the side as twice the tank was right there to try and put it through. But will not go through. Perch beats over the top of one. Just twice tank in the back. Can he get there in time? He does. Plays it over to the side. Keeps that lead from increasing, at least for now. Right, a great clear there. Actually able to get out just underneath their noses. We prime in the back. Over towards Perched Peach. Wonder what it's perched on. It's a good point. I don't know. They don't, they, don't really, they don't really perch on things. Prem, oh, what a clear uh, getting Viking out of the Ooh. way. And he still gets the save twice the tank with an opportunity. Can he boom it down the field? No, Perched Peach gets in the way. Beautiful defense there from the Chickens. The Sloths will not increase their lead just yet. Viking getting bumped and bullied over and goal, and it doesn't matter. Able to cruise on through, showing he's a tank himself. Must be all that chicken. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you think they, uh, they are the Chickens. I'm, they don't oh, eat that chicken. probably. Uh, yeah, I hope they don't eat chickens. Actually, good it's, it's all that cornmeal. <laughs> Perch Peach to carry this one around the corner. And in front of the box here, gets it past twice. The tank does it all himself. It'll just roll right in. 3-0 slots. Right. I think this is actually a little bit uncharacteristic. Perch Peach and Prem definitely the favorites, but I feel I can see the nerves on the chickens. I mean. Viking, just a few mistouches. He's positioning himself properly for the clears for the most part, but unfortunately, just it's not coming off. The timing's a little bit off. They're going to need to make something happen here. They still have half a game left. Three goals, definitely doable, Wave Punk. Viking to move up, take a shot, put it onto the backboard, and Prem will play this one away. Remember, these quarterfinals, best of threes, so even if the Chickens do not manage to score or not manage to win here in game number one. Oh, here's oh. the opportunity to score twice. He just has to put it in the net, get it around the post. He does, puts it in, and the chickens are on the board. Not going to lie, a little bit scary there coming off the post. I wasn't sure if they were going to miss that. At three goals down, they don't have the opportunity. Just a missed touch there from the defenders. Going to let twice the tank score an open goal. They'll be on the board here. Just past halftime. Plenty of time to come back to this game, especially only being down by two. Viking going straight up, doing his best rocket ship impression. Twice the tank to try and play it out of the half, but Perch Peach zones him out before getting demolished. He'll spawn back in his own half. Here he comes moving up. And then try and push this through twice the tank, a savior medal already. So much defense having to be played here by the chickens as the slots are moving quickly. <laughs> not what you would expect. Uh, don't go there. <laughs> it's not even technically a pun. Get over it. 
Twice the Tang, a nice set out there. Viking takes the shot towards the net. Look at this little doink pass here from Twice the Tang as Viking will just say, thank you, I'll pick this one up in the mid. He puts it into the corner. Oh, and I don't know if we'll be able to see it here on the replay, but it just barely bounces off Twice the Tang. So I don't Viking think it bounced off, it off the second time. I think he just went right underneath it. They were actually predicting the touch. Unfortunately, mm. they missed the ball because, boy, they got fooled by that. Great mind game there. And just like that, it's a one-goal game. 140 left to go, and the Chickens are starting to come back into oh. it. Twice the Tank shot nearly goes in. Prem plays it away, and Viking keeps the pressure on. Bit of ball chasing, double commitments coming out here from the Sloss right now. As Twice the Tank goes in, gets the demolition, but Viking did not realize that was what was happening. He fell back. He had a free shot to tie it up there, but Twice the Tank, another one. Prem tries to get the block, and Twice the Tank, it wasn't enough. It's a tie ball game. What a shot here. This was a laser beam, and Prem having to deal with this backwards. What he wants to do there is he actually hit a back flip, and that's just not going to be enough power. He needs to turn his car backwards and go for a front flip. That's going to give him enough power to hit that ball out to the side. Unfortunately, a mistouch here from Prem is going to even the game back up, and we've seen a few defensive errors now from both teams. Well, that gives us the tie game we have in front of us. Anyone's ball game here in game number one to see which of the animals gets to move on to face Fibian which is a daunting task. Both teams having trouble dealing with each other here. Fibian's waiting in the semifinals. They'll be an even harder test. Well, Viking to play that one away. Perched Peach to try and set this one up, but twice the tangle move it down the field. Clears it pretty far, and Perched Peach will be able to pick it up uncontested. But he plays it right back into the rotation of Viking. And now with ball control in front of his own net. He'll move it up, bounce it off the wall, and down the field as Prem hangs back. Some great 50-50s here from Perched Peach. We see just how easy it is to get. Whoa! Oh my goodness, Prem. This is the second time he's interacted with the post, and he gains the lead this time. Hey, you can see the chickens just going, what just happened? Prem actually, <laughs> I think he reset his jump there on the flip a second time. Oh Not quite goodness. sure what happened there, but he goes for a dunk against the wall, and that's something that you don't see a lot of players do. It's a great opportunity. Getting those pinches against mm -hmm. the wall oftentimes mm -hmm. lets you trap the ball. Oh. Score, score great opportunities. Go ahead. I was just the twice the tank very close to scoring again and tying it back up. It would just be absolutely nuts if we could have overtime in game number one between these two teams. Viking to try and move it up. You can hear the lawnmower boost there. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what a setup. Final countdown. Down by one. Viking in front of the net. Underneath. Oh! Puts it in. And we have a tie game. I really didn't think they'd get it through with the defense here. But just defensive mistakes. And that pass from Twice the Tank. Beautiful positioning. Viking puts it in. That pass was the perfect pass to capitalize on a scattered defense. We see Prem actually jumping off the wall. Something he didn't need to do. He went for the backwards aerial. And that was a huge risk. He had confidence in himself to do it. And unfortunately, it did not pay off. Can he do it in regulation? Twice the tank fell back and he'll uh, perch Viking gets demoed. So we'll have overtime in game one. After blowing a 3-0 lead here, we've seen the chickens come back in and the Slaws have their backs against the wall. They've got their work cut out for them. Best of threes, getting the victory here in game number one. It's very helpful, sets the tone and just puts you one game away from moving into the finals. And you know the chickens would like to be the animal to move on. <laughs> The animal of choice. Yep. Of the two we've got. I think Fibian's logo is a dragon, too, so kind of like an all animal up top of the bracket right now. Perched Peach to take a shot towards the net. Twice the tank plays over the side, and Viking will follow. I think he, I'm not really sure what happened there, why he flew over the top of the ball. I think he was expecting it to bounce higher or something, maybe, expecting a touch from Perch Peach. But Prem now going for the zone on Viking. He's way out of position. They'll move it down the field quickly. And twice the tank getting demoed. Critical play there by Prem to make sure that there was the, the offensive pressure breaks up for the Chickens. Yeah, just honestly, a lot of feeling each other out. This is overtime, and for all the viewers who are new, overtime is a golden goal opportunity or a golden goal game mode. So the first team to score here is going to be the team to win the game. And that's huge. We mentioned our single elimination bracket, best of threes. You don't have many chances at all. Twice the tank with the read. Prem tried to dribble, and it didn't matter. Oh. Does he get this shot? It goes in. Beautiful plays here from Twice the Tank, the player who wasn't even on the roster 24 hours ago, makes the critical play in overtime. 
Oh, that's a great shot. What a touch there. Able to get underneath it, putting so much power on the ball. And like you said, just like fresh on the roster. This is like a dream coming true for them. They have to be able to stay calm though when we get to game number two. They have to keep their wits about them here. 11 shots to 10, five saves to five. Such an even game between these teams here. Really different games in my opinion. Mm. At the very beginning of that, we saw a 3-0 from Slaw through about halftime. They had complete ball possession control. They weren't giving up mistakes. And then Chickens just decided, wait a second, we're going to wake up now. We're going to flip that switch. And they crushed from there on out. What was the turnaround? What allowed Chickens back into this game? I, I think they just honestly settled back down, thought, you know, hey, we're just here to have fun. Let's just play Rocket League. And then they started to play Rocket League. That shot from Twice the Tang that won the game, beautiful shot from literally any player. I am so impressed with him right now. Yeah, that was a great shot. The biggest thing for me is if we look at the assist numbers, we see four assists from Chickens and one here on on uh, Sloth side, and, and that just kind of spells the story of the match. We saw a lot of defensive airs coming from Chickens and Sloth, but for the most part, we saw Chickens working together to capitalize on those defensive airs, just securing so many goals, and we saw also that great mind game where he jumped right underneath the ball. Just beautiful play. Yeah, no kidding. So, I mean, congratulations to Chickens there, certainly uh, upsetting our expectations right away. Looks like we're about to move into the next game here, so we're going to see if Sloth can tie things up or if Chickens is advancing to play Fibion in the next round. Take it away, guys. I, I would be happy with either of those results at this point because if Sloths gets it, then we get a game three between these teams. Obviously, quite the great game we just had. I was very impressed. Can't wait to see how this one finishes off. Twice the tank picking it up off of the kickoff from Viking. Tries to zone Prem. Tries to play it away from Peach. But the slow play there from the Sloths. You see Chickens here taking that boost. Oh, this could be dangerous here. Twice the Tank kind of put himself out of position, but Viking will get the stall in the midfield to play that one away. Twice the Tank will try to put it back into the middle. Viking way back in his own half. Now back into the middle, Perch Peach alone with ball control. It's just him versus Viking here. He's got Prem in support, but the tackle from Viking sends it all the way down, and Prem has to fall back into net. Viking to pass into the middle. Twice the Tank with the shot? Are you kidding me? That was beautiful. Talk about pinpoint precision here on that pass. Just what a great touch here from Viking. That jump underneath the ball gives so much power. And twice the Tang with just absolute perfect positioning there to capitalize on that the defensive positioning. A great goal here coming from, from the Chickens. Who knew that the recipe for a good team was just have twice as much Tang? I love Tang, man. Dude. Can you imagine if he was like thrice the Tang? Oh. It might be too much. <laughs> twice the Tang to try and play this one out. Viking moves it down the field as we see Prem falling back to play it across. Perch piece to put it into the corner. So we're going to drop close. Perch piece to try. Prem now will have another opportunity. And twice the tank drops it. That the, he just stalls it right in front of his net, and Viking picks it right up to clear into the corner. Teamwork from these guys, just like you were saying. But they're trapped in their own net right now, really struggling to get out. That one just barely missing from Perch Peach, which seen as a gift. But all oh, the pressure just continues on here. Perch Peach finally puts that one in. We got a tie game. Yeah, good job here capitalizing on this air from Viking. That touch is not the right move. He needs to push the ball to the side, keep it on his head. There's no pressure right there. And you see Prep, he actually just stops in his tracks. He sees the flick up, and he just goes straight up into the air. And the reason we saw that flick was because they were out of boost. And flinging into the air with no boost to follow it is just giving up possession. And doing that in front of your goal is not good. Twice the Tang and Viking getting a bit Trigger happy there, both chasing the ball up to the side with nobody contesting. You see them spacing out a bit more and realizing that's not, not the way to play a Rocket League and they'll move it into the blue corner. Perch Peach to play it off the ceiling, back out to midfield. There's Viking back down. Prem with the touch on the wall, drops into his own box and here comes twice the tank. Prem is low on boost, he's gonna get there Whoa, in time. Perch Peach gets it away. And Prem will try to move it back out, but Viking keeps the pressure on. These teams just taking turns, okay. having offensive sieges here. Perch Peach gets it away once more. And right now, the Sloths are holding on to the tie game. But the Chickens are doing everything they can to break this. So many great shooting opportunities here for the Chickens. And, and Sloths just doing such a good job, especially Perch Peach. You asked me where he's perched right on that goal line, man. <laughs> gets the ball away every time. Oh, Viking misses on the wall. Twice the Tang has to play it across his own net. Keep moving up here. He's a little bit low on boost, but it'll pinch all the way across the field. He'll have time to move up. I think he went up and stole the slots boost. Now he'll move back in the middle. Let this one move up there. 
Twice the tank downfield, Viking lurking in the back, just looking for an opportunity to clear this one away. After seeing three goals be scored by just the Sloss in the beginning of game one, we are now across halftime and it's only been one goal apiece. Both teams really slowing it down, really thinking about this plays defensively. And it's been honestly some good offensive pushes from both sides, but the defense has really held on. Right, we see actually both teams opting for just a more defensive play style than we saw in the first game. Viking, we saw him just turn back around and give up ball possession just because he was scared to move forward with no boost. And that's, this is going to lead to mistakes from both teams. When you start to get too timid and, and don't maintain ball possession just because you're a little intimidated Whoa. or afraid. Viking continues to flick. It's a pass prem again. You know that the slots are low on boost. Twice the tang's right there, but he lofts it instead of shooting. He has another opportunity here, but again it goes behind him. Two touches in a row. Twice the tang not able to quite make the ball do what he wants. Twice the tang will have another opportunity here as he moves up. He gets it in front of the goal, but Viking had already backed off. Was too low on boost to commit. Would not have had the pace to get back, but here's another opportunity for him. Can he get there in time? Gets it past Perch Peach. Now it's just Prem in the back. He'll play it to the side. The defense continues to hold on for the Sloths. As the pressure continues to mount from the chickens. What, what would actually win? I think a chicken would actually win in a battle between a literal chicken and a literal sloth. Viking gets that one through. And twice the tank's there. Breakaway all the way down the field. It'll go in all the way. The double commitment, and they didn't score. The chickens are going to punish, and they've got the lead. And we talk about 50-50 so many times. Just the great presence of mind from Viking to recognize the challenge was coming, and he flips just perfectly. His, his nose touching that ball it's directly in the center. That's the best way to win a 50-50. And he just takes two defenders out of the game just like that. And now the chickens with the lead in the series and the lead here in game two. They win this one. They move oh. on. That one's all the way down. Just who has the boost to get there? It's a drag race. Everybody's low. Prem will play it to the side. He's the first one to make contact. But right now, defense that has been great from the Sloths all series long is not going to win them the game. They have to score here. 30 seconds left to do it. Prem sends it towards the net. Vikings there to play it to the side. Plays it nice and soft. Forces Prem to loft it. Perched Peach as well. Gets it away. But Vikings still in the best position here. Gets first touch over the top, 15 seconds remaining. Perch Peach onto the backboard. Can he finish it off? It'll go to the side. No, it goes in. Tie game. Viking here opts to stay away from the goal here. And I think this was the mistake. He goes for mm. the boost and he lets twice the tank get the ball here. Twice the tank, a bit of an unfortunate 50 50. And it looked like Viking actually could have made that save. Unfortunately, he didn't get enough to the left of the ball to pinch it directly out. Mm -hmm. He pinched it slightly inwards. He had the time. The, the Perch the Peach had slowed the ball down. Viking coming in now to try and see if he can finish it off in regulation, or will we have overtime again? Twice the Tang across. Viking's there, into the middle. And it'll touch the ground. Two games in a row, we have overtime here in our quarterfinals. And we love overtime wave, don't we? Oh, yeah. It's quite intense to watch the way these guys have to play when everything's on the line, and one goal could be the end of it. The Chickens score. Slots go home for good. Twice the tank now. Over to the side. 50-50 goes in the chicken's favor, but that time the aerial one going in the favor of the sloths immediately following. Oh! Bump on the perch piece, twice the tank down the field in the goal. And with that, sloths eliminated here. Chicken's gonna move on. What an upset. This is incredible. Prem, Persia Peach, RLCS quality players taken out by Viking and the substitute twice the tank. Just what a, a misplay there from Prem at the end. We saw him touch the ball backwards. It was not necessary. There was no pressure. And then we see the bump take out his only teammate who mm -hmm. could have prevented the goal. Wow, what a series. Okay, so I got to break that down in a couple of different ways because first off, what? I mean, <laughs> we saw, we've only we had saw a chickens couple. chickens are sloths. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> we had a couple of seed upsets in this entire set of regionals up to this point, right? So all of these have been pretty incredible when they've actually happened, but I think it was the way it happened here. Think of the end of game one when Twice the Tang rattles ball possession off of someone on the wall in uh, overtime and then just flings it across the entire pitch for a goal. These were impressive plays, but I got to ask, are they Fibion defeating impressive plays? How good oh. is this team, and do you think they can take on Fibion? Honestly, I, I, you go I, ahead. I, I, 
Vivian's the real deal, man. Okay, all right, <laughs> fair enough. I think I think it'll be an entertaining game. I think Chickens has made some fantastic plays. Yeah, and okay, yeah. can we talk about? You said that that we have had very very few upsets there, but you can see Chickens beating Sloths 2-0 with a substitute player. I don't That's think right. any upset has happened with a substitute player in the situation. The seed upset. So I have been so impressed. Twice the Tank scored the overtime goals in both games, being quite making a name for himself here on this stage. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And we've already got our first semifinal set as Fibion advanced past Nova Esports 2-0 and Chickens take out Sloth 2-0 as well. That puts them just one match away from qualifying for the grand finals in Santa Ana. And I believe Axel Toss is standing by with our winners in the Chickens right now. Thank you, Kevin. Axel Toss here with the Chickens. Gentlemen, what a series. Both games going overtime. You guys clutching it up at the end. I want to focus on game one first, where you guys were down 0-3. It seems like your feathers were ruffled a little bit. A little bit, little bit of that happening. Um, talk to me about making that comeback happen and then winning in overtime, how that felt for you guys. All right, well, it was, it felt incredible because at the beginning of the game, I was sort of feeling a bit off. I was, I missed a few really bad balls and then we were able, able to just come back, piece together some goals and yeah, came back in the game. Yeah, I think um, we just calmed down and we were like, all right, it's fine. We could play our game. And then we stopped whiffing and started winning the game. So. Good stuff, man. Uh, guys, you're playing Fibian next. Quick thoughts on your expectations against, uh, against Fibian. Uh, they're obviously a really good team. There, Many people expect them to make our LCS. So uh, that will be a very tough game, but I hope that we'll be able to play as well as we did and win. Yeah, I think we'll have a close game, or close series with them because uh, it's LAN. I feel like in LAN, uh, more skilled players kind of lose a bit of skill in it. So, yeah. Well, there you go. Good luck to the chickens. We're looking forward to any plans you're hatching. All right, let's go back to you, Kevin, and the desk. All right, thank you very much, Alex. I appreciate that. Coming up next, as you see our players getting ready in the bullpen, we have our third quarter final. It's going to be set to destroy X up against Team Finesse to round out our second fi semifinal of the day. We'll be right back here with yet more action from the West Regional of the Universal Open Rocket League Tournament here at NBC Sports Bay Area.